Long seen as a standout game for the Dreamcast since the beginning, Shenmue's first chapter has finally made it into the hands of Japanese Dreamcast owners, allowing us another look at this title. The game begins on November 26, 1986, with Ryo Hatsuki's father being murdered by an evil and powerful martial artist who also lifts the mysterious jade medallion. Ryo then leaves his high school existence for revenge against the assailant and slowly uncovers a vast international conspiracy. As you have probably heard, the official genre for Shenmue is free, standing for full reactive eyes entertainment, something we all can call an adventure game. You guide Ryo through his hometown of Yozuka, solve puzzles and probe the populace for information. The environments themselves in the game are virtually like games in themselves, as they offer endless drawers to open, trinkets to buy and things to play with. The game also has action sequences called Quick Time Events, which are reminiscent of Dragon's Lair by testing your reflexes when prompting you to tap a button. The game is designed to be very accessible and hasn't been found to be all that difficult. If you fail to succeed in a battle, there are an unlimited number of retries available. Even if you know how much money it costs to produce this game, you can't help but be impressed with its production value. It's hard to imagine many other games looking this good. The world is massively detailed and seamlessly integrated with very delicate modeling and texture everywhere. The sound is equally as impressive, both with the musical soundtrack and the fact that everything in the game has a unique sound associated with it. The game is set to arrive in the U.S. this year, and it's recommended that players wait for the domestic version unless they have a good handle on Japanese. Some who have tried it bemoan the absence of Chapter 2, but regardless, a technological marvel is on its way to the Dreamcast.